Good morning, everyone. This is Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing in Grand Junction, Colorado. I'm going to give you a tip on your Bernina 7 Series today, and it's not only limited to the 7 Series, so there's a, some really cool tips here, especially on how to wind and use the foot controller and that sort of thing. So a few minutes of really good tips. I'm going to start by threading the machine. So we're going to come up. We're going to use one of these smaller spools from Mettler, and I like using this very small spool cap to put on the end. As long as the end of the spool is nice and smooth, always check that before you uh, put it on. The, the thread has to come off of there very smoothly, so if there's a snag or a burr or something on there, take a emery board and file it off. I like using this small little spool cap holder. Now, on the 7 Series, I have added a clip here to help that thread from not jumping out of the first uh, guide. Snap that through. I always hold on to the thread with my right hand as I'm threading the machine. I come up and grab that, come down behind the wire, behind the little wiggle wire. Now at this point, um, I'm going to use a needle threader with no foot on. You can, it doesn't matter whether the foot's on or not. So I bring it down about halfway. I use my thumb to wrap it around that post on the left, and I engage it. It takes a little bit of pressure to engage it all the way. Snap it back, and I've added an additional thread holder slash cutter that I sell for $26.99 here at the store. And then when you let it up, the thread is pulled to the back and it's all ready to go. So that cutter is not on the 7 Series. It comes with the 5 Series standard. It's a peel and stick option. So now, let's say you got your 1D or your buttonhole foot, and you put it on, then you have to figure out how to get the thread through that hole before you start sewing. Well, here's a tip that uh, I've been shown, that if you take your foot before you put it on, use the needle, go right up through the hole, and then grab the back thread from there. Now I've just threaded, pre-threaded the thread through the hole of the, the presser foot. So I'm gonna put the 1D on. It's the same way. It doesn't have a slot, so before you attach it, push it up, pull from the back, and you got your thread in your foot. Now, put your foot on and engage your uh, dual feed because it's a D foot. But before I do that, I am going to show you the best way to oil. Just take your foot off, the presser foot off, leave the needle in, push down on the little concentric circles there, take your plate off, and get down in there. We're going to rotate this to, to where you, do you see this shiny part going back and forth? Right there. That's the tip of the hook. So you you take a oiler, precision tip oiler, and put a drip of oil right there, and you're good to go. I do that every morning or every time I start sewing, then about every two hours after that. I sell this precision tip oiler for $12. Um, some months I sell two or three hundred of these through my YouTube. So it's a really, really good product. And it has a, a little scabbard tip, and that goes on. You can actually lay it down in your drawer, and it doesn't leak. So I really... The red cap is for 7 Series. I, ca I carry a little heavier oil in yellow for all other brands of sewing machines. So this is only I sell for all different brands. So I'm going to put this back on. The next tip is going to show you how to wind your um, press, foot controller. Some people call it foot controller, some people call it foot control. Um, so the Bernina foot control plugs into the side of your machine, obviously, and it has a black cord. So on the bottom of your foot controller, it has a winder on it, and everybody needs to know how it winds. It should wind clockwise. I actually take a Sharpie, and I make a little mark so I wind it consistently on the right direction. And while I'm here, if you go to class, if you go to retreats and stuff, things like this get left behind or get mixed up. So those sheets of addresses with your name on them and stuff you get, peel one of those off, Stick it right down over there, and now you know it's your foot control. Because you want yours back. You don't know if somebody else has used or abused theirs. So we're going to wind this up, and we always wind it clockwise. 
and get it all the way wound up. Don't carry your machine with it plugged in. Take it out for transportation. Now across the top, there's four little pegs. You wanna come, you wanna plug it into this little gray stow area there and then bring your cord down, push it in with your thumb and that set of pegs and that side set of pegs. Now that's ready to transport. It's not gonna hurt anything by having it that way. Now, here's another tip. When you take it open, let's unwind it all the way. And Bernina suggests you use those pegs when you're sewing. So you're going, if you want the cord to come out to the right, which I usually do, I bring the cord around, I put it through those pegs and that peg. That protects the cord from being yanked out of the bottom of your foot controller. If that cord gets um, pulled too hard, you'll be replacing this cord or the controller in there. And that's about a $50 or $60 replacement. To buy a brand new foot controller, anywhere from $120 to $200 for this foot controller. Now, I'm going to head, go ahead and plug it in. Now, the foot controller, the needle up, needle down foot controller from Bernina, um, I've had people own Berninas for 20 years, didn't know the foot controller did this. So if you push really hard on the front of this, it does a half a stitch. If you push it again, it does the other half a stitch. So if you're right close to the end of your project, you could do this three or four times to get exactly where you want it. Now, if it's in, uh, depending upon what mode it is in, whether you're in the half stitch or full stitch, you can touch the back of it and we'll do one full stitch. So with the uh, hover up and down, so that, that is the function of the needle up, needle down uh, foot controller. I had a customer call me the other day saying, every time I stop, the uh, machine cuts the thread. It never used to do that. Well, mm -hmm. when you get into your control settings, especially on a 7 Series, you can control the foot, con foot control functions. Now, the foot control functions, I believe, are in this first menu. And see the kick function here? You can control it to just have normal needle up, needle down, or you can hit the heart and just do your favorite. So what she had done is she had accidentally turned off the knot feature and hit cut only. So with the cut only feature on, every time she stopped, she would actually hit the back of that foot control, and then it would... Uh, cut her thread and she wasn't expecting that. So unless you're expecting that, see now it cut the thread by kicking the back of that. So the higher end 7 series have a programmable foot control. So be careful where that um, program has been selected. So that's my uh, little tips for the day. So thank you for watching uh, Bernina Jeff. Remember I answer all of my uh, Emails at J is in Jeff, P is in Peter, V is in Victor, L E F T Y, that's lefty at AOL.com. J P V Lefty at AOL.com. If you would like to order any of my oil or any of my parts, I have a needle grabber that works great, please call the shop 970 256 1293. I do have some listings on eBay, so you can search uh, Bernina Oil. Um, but we like to talk to you in the shop and uh, we Make sure you get the right oil and parts by talking to you. Thank you very much. Bye.